Ray Barge Festival has been going on for five years. We've had four festivals over five years. It's an annual event that the Forks hosts, usually with a couple different partners. And I think that's something that the Forks does really well, is just sort of has a bunch of different artists and festivals and ideas and events popping up that uh, people stumble upon. They don't have to choose to go there. They don't have to pay an admission to go. They're just sort of forced to interact with the amazing parts of our city. The world is square when you're in your room. A box full of boxes sits under the moon. Sweaters and books and letters in the drawer. Pocket full of papers that will tell you. For me, it was cool to just be like, I'm playing on this barge on the water here. Come. Oh. Playing festivals like this, you just get you just get the attention right away. You don't have to fight for it. People that come to the Barge Fest or any festival outdoors, they're there to listen to your music. They're there to listen to your lyrics and see what you have to say. Yeah, I love that this festival is for like any age, any culture. It just like opens up to like so many people. So it's great to like like bring together people from everywhere. We're in front of a different kind of audience all the time when you play festivals. You're guaranteed like a pretty decent crowd and they always treat you really well. I mean people go to a music festival, they're there for the music. They're not there for like the pool or the booze and all of that. Prairie Barge Festival is probably one of the most gorgeous festivals we've played. We've played some pretty nice ones, but it's awesome. There's lots of people out, great turnout. Everyone was very receiving of the music and seemed to enjoy it, not just us, but the bands after and before us too.